So we'll just do a tiny little video. A tiny little video is probably going to turn into five minutes, but um, just expanding on my 60 second tip from today. And I think I need to change it from 60 second tip to maybe 90 second tip because I keep, I can't condense it into 60 seconds. <laughs> so thinking on exercise, discipline, affection, those three things are what dogs need to be fulfilled in life. And to be honest, it's what us humans need as well to be fulfilled in life. You need enough exercise, uh, enough discipline and enough affection. Okay. Now, more often than not, if you think of a pie chart, very simply, if you think of a pie chart, 100 degrees, um, sorry, 360 degrees, 100%. Now, if you cut that in half, 50% to be fulfilled should be exercise for your dog. 25% discipline, 25% affection. Now, naturally, all three of these things do also mesh and, and, and blend into each other. For example, when you exercise your dog, it is also giving the dog affection. And within the walk, there should be discipline, rules and boundaries. Um, affection itself, that's a pretty simple one, but there's many forms of affection. Um, it's not just treats, it's not just toys. For example, the walk itself is the affection, as I say. Discipline. Discipline is generally very simply, are you controlling two things in your dog? Where your dog is and how calm or excited your dog is. That's called rules, boundaries and limitations. More often than not, people, as I say, have this 360 degree pie chart um, out of whack. So it should be 50% exercise, 25% discipline, 25% affection. But what you find is they've maybe got 90% affection, 7% exercise and 3% discipline. So then you have an unbalanced relationship with your dog. But what you generally find is the more you exercise your dog, assuming there are still rules and boundaries on that walk, you're gonna have the dog a much happier dog, real affection, and um, <clears throat> you're gonna have a dog that in areas that you find challenging, for example, separation anxiety, being too excited in the home, um, barking in the garden, greeting people coming in too excitedly, these things would uh, definitely, most of the time, uh, almost disappear just by draining the physical energy. Too often we're trying to tell the body what to do. Sit, stay, come, go, lie in your bed, uh, don't jump on that person, whatever. But you haven't fulfilled the, uh, the, the exercise part, you haven't drained the energy. So it's much harder to tell the brain what to do if you haven't drained the physical energy of the dog. You'll find it much easier if you drain the physical energy to then, in other words, exercise, to then tell the brain what to do. So think of it, you exercise the body, you discipline, tell what to do the mind, and you give affection to the whole heart of the dog. That is what creates a more balanced dog. That is what creates a dog being out of whack if you are not fulfilling those three things, exercise, discipline, and affection.